success. His 26th international. And Luke Thompson prepares to receive. Match four of Rugby World Cup 2015. And this is Tui, the number eight forward. And he is immediately taken heavily there by Lourdes Diaga. Hendrik Tui making nice ground. South Africa loitering there at that ruck. Here we go! Got the ball! Oh, he threw the dummy. Yamada had no one in front. Here they go again. Thompson. The Japanese asking questions early on. Can Japan get first points? Yes, sir. Almost a look of disbelief from that elderly gentleman. But just have a look at the scoreboard. Will this be mission impossible? Japan going low. South Africa controlling. Low has it. Rob Low. Saito. Good strong leg drive, well organized, well structured, and really back to the South African nuts and bolts. Strong forward initiative, big powerful bit of rugby union, the leg drive strong, and the rewards there for the spring box. This is what they are so good at, particularly against teams who don't have the, 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 the power to match them up front, up front. Patrick Lambie attempting to hit the spot with his opening kick of the World Cup. Lovely strike. Thompson. They slipped it away nicely. The backs join again. It's a 10 man ball. South Africa holding on grimly. The Japanese heads towards the posts. Absolutely deafening roar from the crowd. And this Japanese team thoroughly deserve the support they're getting from all fans who've come to this game. I think even the South African fans will be enjoying this tenacious display. Good solid mall. You mentioned a 10-man mall, Gordon. I think it was a 13-man mall and finally a little bit of forward progress round the corner they came. Leach was wise enough to see where the line was. No doubt about it. He's grounded it this time. And Japan well rewarded. Eddie Jones is smiling and happy. He's got one over his old arch enemy, the Springboks. New Zealand father, Fijian mum, and Goromaru now to squeeze it out to three. Steve Borthwick is the forward coach for Japan, the former England captain. 57 caps, 21 as captain. They've worked so hard on countering the South African war. But they've got a problem here again. It's Bismarck. And it's another try for the box, but a reply. Bismarck did to see almost like a little poacher at the back there, making sure no one else got their hands on the ball. And over he went. The box looking to land a critical blow. Lambie with the Villiers outside. He threw the dummy. It could be a turnover here. Not quite. Low tackle by Tui. Now it's De Toy. So hard to wrestle to ground. Japan's defense is staying composed and holding their formation. Big tackle there by Luke Thompson. Japan come in. I think they've got it. The crowd realizes. And that sums up Japan's performance in the first half. And if the first half is anything to go by, they certainly have a shout. 
Poziono, another little testing grubber. Safe, sure hands from the South African skipper. 10 metre line, Lambie. Well, again, whatever Hanneke may have in his mind for the start of the second half, it wasn't that. His leech. Ran into a solid tackle there from Lowe and Yanni Duplessis, Tanaka. Nice angle from Matsushima. One green. Advantage. One green upside. Penalty advantage against South Africa. Makes it within penalty range. Sound picks up. And a chance for Japan now to hit the lead. As you say, it's all come from that miscued punt kick by Pat Lambie. Japan has the lead by one. Japan have got good distance on their downfield kicks. Tina, Havana, Lambie. One low, one over the top. But we're just outside the 22. Diaga. He's a giraffe. Oh, a human one. Heineck is happy. That's the reply in the box needed. Got a good bit of body position. Finally a missed tackle out in the open by Japan. And Good to Yaga, shows a real great pace to get in under the poles. Look at this, he just targets the man, gets through the arm of the tackle, no real shoulder contact, sees where the poles are, sees where the goal line is, and head down and off he goes. Big, tall man, good pace, good strength, good determination to get there. Sheeta going to ground there, Goromaru. No way! Bismarck, you can see, not always a wise move. What can I say here? So a chance to narrow the gap back down to three points. He's modelled his goal-kicking style on the great Johnny Wilkinson. Pretty good style to <laughs> model it on. We are back to a three-point ball game. South Africa by 19 to 16. Nearly 50 minutes gone in the match. Great scrum. Oh no, Tatekawa. Japan now with their tails up in good attacking position. Thompson. Oh, that's a rugged burst from him. They work it quickly. Tanaka. Tatekawa. Tatakawa and Murphy. Try and hold him up here. Now they have to release. Oh, yeah. Against the tackler. Boy. Boy. The crowd is going berserk here, Joel. They are loving the fact that the underdogs are in the game and the chance here is the result of Victor Matthew not releasing the tackle, play, not allowing him to play the ball, as was the call from Jerome Garcia. Means Goromaru has a, an opportunity to add another penalty and tie the game up. Who would ever have predicted this? The crowd will tell you again. <laughs> Pinar in support, Mbobo, and Jesse Krill's outside. For Japan didn't give him a chance to pass it. Diaga and Strauss. Yamashita was underneath. Good low tackle. Burga getting involved. In Young Kana. Burga cleans out well. Good counter right there from Japan thwarted. Diaga. He's really hungry for work, the big lock. Yeah, he's got pretty step to toy coming in quickly as well. Another man hungry for work. Isolated a little bit, West Asia. So this is just... 
comfortably inside Lambie's maximum distance range. But uh, nothing's easy in this environment. It's a cutthroat situation. He likes it. The flags are raised, and the box are back in the lead by three. Japan take the line out nicely. Tadakawa. 10-metre line, South African Territory. And Luke Thompson, who's trucked it up all day. This to level the scores. Hold your breath. Loves it. Turn immediately on the back. Now Japan's defense to be tested. De Young. Hori goes in. And they're up quickly. Strauss! Straight for Drummer! Bullocking right from a wide round strap, not quite a gazelle on the move. I'm not sure he'd like to be called a rhinoceros, but certainly good little step and go, good finish. And maybe, just maybe, finally the game's starting to settle here in the South African fa favour. And with a bit of luck for South African fans that thought of a major World Cup upset dissipating somewhat. As Andre Pollard adds the two. Was the immediate link between Pollard and Jesse Peel on the outside? Still good enough to win the lineup. It's been very good, the Japanese lineup. Here we go, Matsushima! Japan! Good on the move! One of the great upsets of all time is still on. Ayumu, Goromaru. Line out move, set move as well. Away from this contact situation, the little inside pass. Perfectly timed handling. Eddie Jones, set move. It's that little inside ball to the winner, Matsushimi, who timed his pass to perfection. No defenders left. It's his most difficult kick of the match. <laughs> He is seven metres in from the far touchline. This to draw level with ten to go. He's got it. Defending at inside centre. Huge trouble here, the three up. Referee spotted an offside. Polisi. Japanese defence all over the shot. Pollard. Referee still playing at the penalty advantage. Strauss looking for his second. It's there for the Springboks. Netfield. It's a bad. Polisi was about to reach out. Boy, that's determined defence from the Japanese. Bodies on the line. Pollard then to regain the lead for the Springboks. A formality. Seven minutes remaining. Certainly is. Cooney also has just had one little glimpse up and headed up the 
the side of the field. He knew it was coming. Academic 